everyone welcome to our special show master class with me priyanka chavla now leadership is born and cannot be learned this statement is a passe to be entrepreneurs they need an entrepreneurship education which changes the way they think about business youth entrepreneurship is all about an amalgamation of attitude character behavior patient towards entrepreneurship sharpened by training and building awareness and skills necessary to become entrepreneurs in the future and that's where educators step in this brings us to our topic of discussion for today on masterclass entrepreneurship and educating the job creators let me introduce our panel of guests for today dr pradeep kulshreshta he is the dean of school of law sharda university and vishal talwar he is the dean of school of management welcome to our show gentlemen uh, let's start the masterclass today with you vishal Do you think today's uh, circumstances and the pandemic of COVID-19 also, you know, gives out an opportunity for young entrepreneurs and new business ma- business in the market? Well, I think uh, for various reasons we'll be driven towards that. I think uh, if I trace back to um, epidemics or if I trace back to the world wars, um, those were the essential origins for a lot of innovation that we see in society today. so uh, if you have the spanish uh, the flu vaccine that is predominantly created because of the spanish flu uh, uh, pandemic that happened earlier um, close to home if i look at the um, the crisis the uh, the recession in 2008 uh, if you look at the kind of startups that were created uh, during that time uh, you can make out a lot of this was because of adversity uh, a lot of this happened simply because of uh, backs to the wall uh, kind of a phenomenon what we also have to remember is that uh, what's happening to the industry now what is happening to the industry essentially is uh, a big pressure on cash flows that will happen and i foresee that happening in the slightly longer term right um, at the same time uh, the demand supply issues will definitely be there customer confidence issues will be there so automatically a lot of people who intend to get into uh, startups or thinking about self employment thinking about uh, looking at unnoticed price opportunities this is definitely a time to be able to meddle or at least uh, look forward to being able to uh, create uh, jobs rather than you know just uh, consume jobs absolutely as you rightly said this is the time to create jobs and rather consume jobs let's talk about it to more to mr sanjeev sethi he is the ceo of people connect mr sethi would you like to add what mr vishal pointed out that it's time to be job creator and not job consumer right now Uh, uh, Priyanka, and uh, what I really wanted to comment on was that uh, entrepreneurship will be an option which should be open to a lot of fresh graduates, given the circumstances, because you know the job market will definitely get squeezed further, uh, given the current situation. Um, uh, job creation uh, would be a challenge, especially for larger organizations, because their uh, cost of operations, their fixed cost is in any case very high. So. I doubt if uh, those companies would really go out and increase their workforce because most of them would be looking at uh, either rationalizing or really right sizing. Now, coming to entrepreneurship, uh, uh, while entrepreneurship is a fairly interesting option which is available to uh, fresh graduates. Uh, however, uh, being an entrepreneur myself, uh, what I would suggest uh, is that uh, they need to be cognizant of the fact that. Uh, a lot of people want to get into entrepreneurship if they have an idea which they really want to take to the market uh, but the challenge is that whether that idea is workable or not that is a big challenge and i always uh, because i mentor a lot of um, young entrepreneurs and i always tell them that to be an entrepreneur you need a lot of resilience uh, because uh, circumstances like these would really test you you should be willing to take uh, calculated risks and also uh, you need to be very high on problem solving skills and one recommendation which i would, ma- would like to make to a lot of entrepreneurs or other budding entrepreneurs if you were to kind of call them is that they need to uh, test their idea not with a relative not with a friend uh, you need to test it with people from the industry because you know if you go to a friend or a relative uh, nine times out of 10 uh, they will say that it's a great idea uh, but they are not your customers because a real customer exists out there and uh, those are the people they need to really go out to they really need to test run the idea because at the end of the day please understand uh, this would create a lot of 
uh, issue with financing new businesses as well. Hmm. So while entrepreneurship is a very good option, you need to, however, put pen to paper, create your idea, go through a critical mode, talk to people who, who, who are entrepreneurs, get their piece of advice before you really go ahead and launch an entrepreneurship venture. So that is my take on the current situation. Absolutely. We also have a viewer, Lipika Sharma, calling from Noida. Lipika, please go ahead with your question. Thank you so much. Hello, everyone. Uh, I am calling from Sharda University School of Law. So my question is uh, to the panel focused on law. I would like to know the opinion of the panel. Do you think that we are entering a new era of legal entrepreneurship? And second poll question is, can you suggest some... Um, Entrepreneur and endeavors for legal professional other than setting up a website. Thank you. Um, uh, I think Mr. Pradeep uh, would be the best person to take that question from Lipika. Please, uh, please address Lipika's concerns as well. Yeah. Uh, thank you, Lipika, for a very relevant question. In uh, today's time, when we see uh, things are quite disruptive, because legal education so far primarily has been practice based. That students were uh, taking legal education and they were going out, doing internship with the seniors, and then they were uh, going for practice or corporate jobs. But uh, right now we see both options are uh, facing uh, this COVID-19 stress. And this will give time uh, to a student and to educators, to policymakers, to open new areas, as Dipika has pointed out, that uh, instead of uh, changing job, now legal education has to refocus in job creation. Maybe uh, we can take uh, advantage of the technology that would be helpful and uh, new areas are emerging. And maybe we will get a lot of uh, job opportunity uh, in commercial areas, in uh, IPR areas. And obviously, uh, students can be job created. Absolutely. Uh, you know, you have rightly said that. Let's go over to Mr. Vishal Talwar. What do you think uh, can be done as like the immediate step for creating youth entrepreneurship in the country? Look, I think in the last few years, what we have to remember here is that, uh, uh, you know, graduates passing out from universities uh, so far have been largely uh, positioning themselves as job consumers. And it's only in the last, and, and obviously, because of which reasons higher education institutions have also modeled themselves, the curriculum, the training uh, piece on that particular uh, paradigm. Uh, 